think this is extremely important to make the Texans aware of what they have got. Because this is really something that uh, in a, in, if this study is undertaken in a few years, this is going to be in every textbook of elementary school, and not just in Texas, around the world. There is a sort of mystic atmosphere about this time. And there is a lot of uh, search of contact with supernatural power. They may represent positive and negative forces, evil forces like diseases, for instance, or something evil that comes down from supernatural. There are two cultures, uh, two rock art assemblages or styles, both of them in Africa, but one in the north of Africa and the second in the south of Africa, that are extremely similar to this one and probably reflect uh, some similarities in the style of life and uh, in the uh, habit of uh, drug consuming. Most of this is a painting that is produced under the influence of drug. Now, probably it is the same drug here and there, and the same way of life, which is primarily based on vegetables, and the same kind of social structure that produced so similar result in rock art. Uh, to me, what is the most striking thing that I would have never expected to find all the way in America, something so similar to uh, two different uh, regional styles in Africa. And this is really incredible. There is a very large range of a very large sequence of phases of this time which uh, is characterized by the large human beings in uh, the central Saharan region and especially in the Tassili region and Tassili range uh, which uh, there is called the round-headed style or the style of the round-headed people now uh, there, there is a, I noticed yesterday and I, I think I have a confirmation today that there is a very high similarity between this round-headed style in the Tassili and elsewhere in Central Sahara and this style of very large figures here. There is a great danger of destruction. Now, as you can see with the building of the Amistad Reservoir, it has backed the water up into the canyon, creates problems in terms of raising the humidity in the area. There are other factors that may be caused by pollution. Sometimes there are animals that have destroyed the figures. All these elements put together make rock art very vulnerable. Even people coming here, sometimes touching the painting, destroy part of the paintings. Human action is by far the major cause of destruction of archaeology at large, and of rock art in particular. This is something that has been left to us, although we tend to see ourselves as separate from the prehistoric occupants of the area. This is part of our history, and we should come to realize that. I would need one week to stay here by myself, and then I could talk for two months. <laughs> it's, it's incredible.